So it's time to look at Kinesis Cheat Sheet. So Amazon Kinesis is the AWS solution for collecting, processing, and analyzing streaming data in the cloud. When you need real time, think Kinesis. There are four types of streams, uh, the first being Kinesis data streams, and that's uh, your paying per shard that's running. So think of an EC2 instance, you're always paying for the time it's running. Uh, so Kinesis data streams is just like that. Data can persist within that stream. Data is ordered and every consumer keeps its own position. Consumers have to be manually added, so they have to be coded uh, to consume, uh, which gives you a lot of uh, custom flexibility. Data persists for 24 hours by default, up to 168 hours. Now, looking at Kinesis Firehose, you only pay for the, the data that is ingested, okay? So think of like, I don't know, Lambdas or Fargate. The idea is that you're not paying for a server that's running all the time. It's just data that's ingested. Data immediately disappears once it's processed. Consumer, you only have the choice from a predefined set of services. So you either get S3, Redshift, Elasticsearch, or Splunk, and they're not custom. So you're stuck with what you got. Kinesis Data Analytics allows you to perform queries in real time. So it needs Kinesis Data Streams or Firehose as the input uh, and the output. So you do have to have two additional uh, streams to use a service, which makes it a little bit of expensive. Uh, then you have Kinesis Video Analytics, which is for securely ingesting and storing video and audio encoded data uh, to consumers such as SageMaker, Recognition, or other services to apply machine learning and video processing. Um, to actually send data to the streams, you have to either use KPL, which is the Kinesis producer library, which is like a Java library to write to a stream, or you can write data to a stream using the AWS SDK. KPL is more efficient, but you have to choose what you need to do in your situation. So there is the Kinesis cheat sheet.